Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So I guess the big news that came out uh, this morning is the fact that China's GDP came in at 6.9%, actually slightly better than forecast, but it's still the lowest figure that has come out as uh, since the start of the credit crunch. Uh, and kind of bringing uh, additional uh, kind of b debate to the market to discuss if China needs to cut rates and um, initiate new monetary stimulus to help prop up the economy. Now, what we've seen throughout some markets there, following on from Friday with the U.S. actually having a positive bit of momentum right there, we've seen a slight dip this morning. But if China does, in fact, cut rates or does embark on monetary stimulus, that will help uh, kind of propel their stocks up a little bit higher. It will obviously help the import-export aspect between China and the rest of the world as well. So it might have a good knock-on effect in other regions. Probably um, the likes of Germany would do quite well because of their strong trade partnerships uh, and the U.S. as well. So nevertheless, we're in between two ranges for the uh, U.S. 30 with 17,034 still being a potential support with 17,361 being the potential resistance. And you can notice there the two moving averages are getting quite close to crossing over. This is going to be a golden cross if it happens. The other technicals are uh, maybe, maybe perhaps slightly overbought, especially the slow stochastic, which is just about to cross over, but the signal to sell is not until it breaks through the 80% level. So there could be still a little bit of momentum in the US markets yet. So moving on to the UK 100, uh, we had a great Thursday, didn't do much on Friday. We've actually gapped a little bit lower this morning, a similar kind of setup to the uh, to the US 30. We're overbought on the slow stochastic, the RSI is neutral, and the MACD histogram is slowly lowering down, meaning we might get a negative cross at some point, and now we might have a series of lower highs. So the UK 100 not looking as uh, friendly as the US 30, with um, maybe 6,300 being the potential support level to watch out for, with 64.15 being the potential resistance. So then moving on to Japan 225, it's starting the week in negative territory. Failing to break through 18,306. Other technicals are relatively neutral, sans the uh, slow stochastic, which is crossing over the 80% level just now. So that is, from a technical perspective, slightly more bearish than the other two markets we just looked at. We might be slightly protected by a support of the 21 period SMA, and we're a fair bit away from that 55 period SMA as well. So then moving on to Japan 225, uh, on Thursday, the dollar yen managed to smash right through 119. Uh, and actually hit just at 118 spot 06, so almost breaking through 118, only to reverse quite strongly there on Thursday, having a decent day again as the dollar began to uh, have a bit of a relief rally after coming off so much. And now we're kind of stuck in the middle of two ranges again, with 119.76 being a short-term potential support uh, resistance, sorry, and uh, 119 still being that potential support to look out for. Um, now we've tried to break up higher already this morning, but then pushed right back down. So moving on to West Texas crude next, uh, which isn't really doing a huge amount with 45.85 being a potential support. All the other technicals are incredibly neutral. There's not really much happening on this today. Moving on to gold, it's coming up closer to a more significant potential support. One, uh, sorry, 11.68 was a broken resistance, now uh, expected to reverse and become potential support. With 12.05 being a longer term potential resistance. Now we've had three days of um, kind of lessening uh, momentum, so it's some negative days. Doji formation there on Thursday, came off again on Friday, down lower again today. There's many traders looking at 11.68 as an interesting level. Finishing up with GBP, USD and um, cable, uh, euro dollar failed to break through one spot 14.75 on Wednesday and Thursday, moved lower on Friday and isn't doing a huge amount today, but they're looking at the other, at the other technicals. There's still a little bit of room for upwards momentum. We're coming up quite close to the 21 period SMA being potentially uh, an interesting level of support for some traders, but one spot 14.75 is still the level to watch out for. And we still uh, keep an eye on GBP USD. Very volatile last couple of sessions. It's made a series of lower highs. Uh, if I get my drawing tool out here for a second and have a look at the trend line, uh, if we just join the dots right here, might give us a flavor. This might be a sloping resistance level for us to be aware of. Um, but you've got a high, a lower high, and a lower high. We could really do the cable breaking up through one spot at 56, which is not looking likely to do today. But one spot 54, 24 is a potential support level, and it's still very much in play this morning. So that should be quite interesting. So as I said, we had a whole bunch of data come out from uh, from China, some better than others. Not a lot else to come out today. And then fast forwarding on to Tuesday, we've got German PPI, 
Uh, not anything else really that exciting until Wednesday, UK public finances, and then the petroleum report. And then we have to go into Thursday where you've got UK retail sales, you've got the ECB interest rate announcement, US employment claims, consumer confidence from Europe, and existing home sales from the US. So Thursday has a lot more exciting macro data to come out. And then Friday you've got German PMI and Eurozone PMI as well to finish off the week. So as ever guys, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.